Simple Machines Part 6 Kids, is your game over? Mama, please let us play a little more. No dear, it's getting dark. They have to leave. Their mama must be worrying. They will come next Sunday again. Yes, why you and Samir? Yeah, sure auntie. Definitely auntie. Okay, you guys move out and let me lock the main door. Rohan, your mama is so nice. How lovingly does your mama talk to you? Really? Your mama is very nice. How lovingly she answers your every question. And whenever I ask any question from any subject to my mama, she simply slaps me and scolds me saying, Go and open your book. Read the chapter thoroughly. Certainly you will get the answers for your questions. Now I am scared to ask her anything. But guys, you are more lucky than me. Vayu, how good does your mama cook? And Samir, your mama doesn't forbid you for doing anything. Hey kids, come and sit in the car. What special talks are going on? No, nothing mama. Mama, it's a lever na? Gear lever? Yes. Now I have understood. Why it is called lever? Why? Because I can see a small metal rod moving around its fixed point. And I remember that you told me while teaching lever that it is a simple machine. It is made up of a straight object like bar or rod resting at a fixed point around which it moves. Am I right, Mama? Yes, well tried, my son. I think I should explain you the next kind of simple machine that is wheel and axle. It is right time to explain the topic. Yes, Auntie. Kids, look carefully at the steering wheel. It is a wheel fixed to a rod called axle. Turn the wheel to the left, you see that the rod moves. Turn the wheel to the right and again the rod moves. In fact, turning the wheel turns the rod. And this moving rod then moves other parts that helps to turn the car. Thus, wheel and axle is a simple machine. It consists of a wheel connected to a small cylindrical rod called axle. Okay kids, can you give some examples of wheel and axle? Yes auntie, car tires and I have seen in my skating board also. Wonderful dear, what else can be the examples of it? Auntie, I have seen in fan and bicycle. Good. So, pedals, sewing machine, screw driver are some examples of wheel and axle. Have you ever turned a round door knob to open a door? When you turn a door knob, you are using a wheel and axle. The knob is a wheel, the rod that is attached to is an axle. Now think and tell me what can be the use of wheel and axle? Mama, I found when you were moving the steering, you were turning the car in the desired direction. So I think Mama, it helps us to easily turn a heavy vehicle in any direction. Good beta. Auntie, can I tell one more example of wheel and axle? Yes, dear. Auntie, pizza cutter? Hmm. Correct. Okay. Did you observe any?
any similarity between pulley and wheel and axle? Yes, Auntie. They both have a wheel. Good. And what difference did you find between them? Yes, Mama. In pulley, there is a rope running round a wheel. But in wheel and axle, there is a cylindrical rod called axle attached to a wheel. Right, Rohan. Auntie, I have a question. <laughs> you and a question. I am sure enough. You will ask a foolish question. Why you? No, dear. Let him ask. And remember, there is no such thing as a stupid question. The man who asks a stupid question is a fool for a minute. But the man who does not ask a stupid question is a fool for life. So you must ask your questions. Sorry, auntie. Auntie, can we and Axel be used in place of pulley in the well? Yes, of course, dear. Now see, when we are using wheel and axle in the well, we are using it to lift the bucket. Isn't it? So, the use of wheel and axle is to lift the heavy objects. Thank you, auntie, for explaining us the topic so well. Thank you, auntie. It's my pleasure, dear.